basic character of amines is one very interesting one very important topic okay actually you can see it is amine you can say it is a primary amine one degree amine when you treat it with an acid like hcl it will become r nh3 plus cl minus means nitrogen is having a lone pair of electrons a pair of electrons the pair of electrons are reacting or is a given to this h plus okay so when this is an acid it is functioning like a base about this nature we are going to discuss now basic character of amines how it is going to be explained and what are the factors of it all this we will discuss now basic character of amines so first thing is nh2 group if it is attached to alkyl fine this pair of electrons should be given to some other atoms okay now this electron pair should be given to some other atoms then only it is a lewis base that means this nitrogen must be ready to provide the electron pair must be ready to provide the electron pair it can donate the pair of electrons it can donate the pair of electrons when it is surrounded by for example let us see ammonia r n h 2 r n h r one more group i am taking here r n r see what i am saying here is nitrogen should donate the lone pair of electrons nitrogen must be ready to donate the lone pair of electrons here nitrogen is donating good it can donate fine here nitrogen can donate much easily because this alkyl group is supporting electrons to this nitrogen by inductive effect this is called plus i effect the group which is donating the electron pair which is pushing the electrons towards the system is called inductive effect group alkyl group is inductive means it is giving electrons to the nitrogen so when nitrogen knows someone is supporting with electrons so it can donate its electron pair easily and when it comes to the secondary amine case you can see here two alkyl groups are there which is much better this is plus i this is also plus i this is a secondary amine this is a primary amine when you compare with the primary amine secondary amine can donate the electron pair much easily and even when it comes to a tertiary amine you see this is plus i group this is plus i group this is plus i group when three plus i groups are there okay now this nitrogen can give its electron pair much much easily so if you see this tertiary amines secondary amines primary amines and ammonia if you compare this this is the order of basicity tertiary amines can donate the electron pair of electron easily than secondary amines than primary amines than ammonia the reason is because of the more inductive effect here then inductive effect is gradually decreasing but remember this is in gaseous state in gaseous state only this order is applicable why because when you are taking aqueous solutions there are some other factors working so this factor exclusively inductive effect is exclusively applicable for the gaseous state so no doubt if they are asking you a question related to gaseous state tertiary amines are much 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 better basis than secondary amines than primary amines than ammonia okay no no doubt in that one so if it is in the gaseous state tertiary is better than secondary than primary than ammonia okay that is all because of the alkyl groups here one alkyl group is there here two alkyl groups are there here three alkyl groups are there good alkyl groups good inductive effect uh, much easily they can lose the electron pair okay one important line to be noted in aqueous solutions okay now there will be more factors affecting see nh3 r nh2 r2 nh R3N. It's ammonia, primary, secondary, and tertiary. What happens is our intention is very simple. If it wants a good base, it must donate the electron pair. 
so no doubt if you see plus i effect okay now even in the aqueous solution inductive effect is there but definitely definitely it is there so tertiary amines are better than secondary amines than primary amines than ammonia true this order just now we were discussing in the gaseous state even the same effect same as it is applicable even in the aqueous solution also same no doubt in that one second thing is along with this one there is another factor that is hydrogen bond what happens with hydrogen bond if the hydrogen bond ability is more higher the hydrogen bond ability greater the tendency to lose the electron pair how nh3 is there okay now this is the electron pair i am just giving you the explanation you see if this hydrogen is forming a hydrogen bond it is forming a hydrogen bond and it is forming also a hydrogen bond because of hydrogen bond it will get some plus charge okay now partial positive charge partial positive charge partial positive charge because of all these partial positive charges obviously this nitrogen will be getting partial negative charge higher the negative charge on the nitrogen the more ability of the nitrogen to donate the lone pair of electrons so if these hydrogens count is more for example let us say only two hydrogens are there now the negative the sorry this is negative charge the negative charge is less here if this is also not there only one negative charge is there if this is also not there no negative charge is extra coming so if you see the hydrogen bonding ability more the hydrogen bond more will be the ability to donate this electron pair so now the order is exactly reverse ammonia has three hydrogen so ammonia has greater tendency to lose the electron pair because of three hydrogens we are getting plus charges three positive charges three partial positive charges so nitrogen will be getting more negative charge and wonderfully it can donate the electron pair according to according to hydrogen bond according to hydrogen bond interesting thing is steric factor steric factor if you see see we are saying nitrogen should donate the electron pair okay nitrogen should donate the electron pair and you are saying so some one should come here some one means some group should come here and accept this electron pair fine if this is hydrogen small group hydrogen small group hydrogen small group anyone can easily come and accept this electron pair let us say if this is an r group this is one more r group this is one more r group like this if it is if they are present so no group can easily come here because they are occupying lot of space this is only called a steric problem so if it is hydrogen like ammonia they are occupying little less space so easily the electron pair can be given out at shared but when the bulky groups are present like alkyl groups ethyl propyl isobutyl tertiary butyl type groups if they are present the coming group cannot take the electron pair easily so in this sense again in this sense again the tendency to donate the electron pair is more for ammonia because hydrogens are small in size than primary than secondary than tertiary so three factors are working you see one is inductive effect as we were discussing in the gaseous state same tertiary is better than secondary primary and ammonia but according to hydrogen bond ability nitrogen can donate easily because more the hydrogen bond more will be the negative charge on nitrogen so can be given out the electron pair easily good one steric factor smaller the groups attached easier tendency to approach towards other atom so that is you can see in this case and in aqueous solutions interesting point is in aqueous solutions at a time these three factors are working inductive effect is working hydrogen bond is working steric factor is working when at a time these three are working in that two factors are in favor of uh, ammonia one factor is in favor of tertiary but the most interesting thing is the most interesting thing is this is a stronger effect this is a stronger effect than these two okay and finally finally okay if you consider all these into consideration secondary comes into the action secondary is better than sorry secondary i am saying and i am writing the Here. secondary is better than tertiary than primary than ammonia if we are discussing even about aniline aniline will be at the last place we'll discuss about aniline separately okay last two minutes we'll discuss about aniline so this is the order secondary is best than tertiary than primary than ammonia 
So what your questions are in examination they can ask you according to inductive effect disorder, according to hydrogen bond disorder, according to steric factor disorder or overall, overall in aqueous solutions disorder, secondary, tertiary, primary, then ammonia and aniline is last. And even more interesting factor is, okay, if R group is, okay, now if R is methyl group in uh, alkyl groups, if it is methyl group, then secondary is better, then primary, then tertiary, then ammonia. Okay, secondary is better, of course, that is fine. Primary, tertiary, ammonia. If R is equal to ethyl or higher, Okay, now propyl butyl higher groups are there. Then secondary, of course, secondary is first place, right? then tertiary, then primary, then ammonia. So, so many questions are there for you. Okay, now in the gaseous state is the first question. Okay, gaseous state, tertiary is better than secondary, better than primary, than ammonia. Uh, in aqua solutions, they can ask you inductive effect, they can ask you hydrogen bonding, they can ask you about uh, steric factors. Or altogether, they can ask you. In there, they can ask you if it is methyl group. Or in the they can ask if it is ethyl group. So every line is a question here. Inductive effect, according to inductive effect, this is applicable in the gaseous state directly because in the gaseous state there is no hydrogen bonding, there is no steric factor. The molecules will be apart from each other. So no hydrogen bonding, no steric factor. But in aqueous solution, these three are working in the hydro, in the aqueous solutions. So when these three are working, finally, because of all these three, this is the final order. In this again, if alkyl group is methyl disorder if it is ethyl disorder but interestingly very interestingly the worst is given for the aniline okay now why aniline is the weakest base here so that can be explained basis on, on the basis of this you can see this is aniline nh2 a pair of electrons here because of the electron pair participating into the benzene ring These two electron pairs I am not disturbing. This is NH2 because of this it is getting plus charge and it is minus charge. Now you can see there is no lone pair on nitrogen. Okay, there is no lone pair only. There is no electron pair only. So it cannot be a base. Because of that, this kind of effect is called plus M effect. Okay, now electrons are entering into the benzene ring is called plus M effect. Because of plus M effect, it is going to be a weakest base. Weakest base than ammonia. Weaker base than ammonia. But in this again, in this again, if you want to increase the basic nature, if electron releasing groups are there, electron releasing groups like OCH3, which is having a lone pair of electrons, or OH, otherwise methyl, ethyl, electron releasing groups, okay, now plus A groups at ortho and para position, that is much better, okay, now at ortho and para positions, then basic nature will be increased. The basic strength of this benzoic acid can, sorry, aniline can be increased. Aniline can be increased by the presence of electron releasing groups at ortho and para positions. By chance, if any electron withdrawing groups are present, like COOH, like NO2, like cyanide, if these kind of groups are present, that at ortho and para positions, gone, the basic strength will be even less. The basic strength can be decreased. So, electron releasing groups at ortho and para positions will increase the basic strength of the aniline. At the same time, electron withdrawing groups will decrease the basic strength. Okay, this is very, very interesting topic and uh, all about the basic strength. Okay, I will just repeat, revise, revise all those ones you see. In gaseous states, okay, tertiary, secondary, primary and ammonia, only inductive effect is working. In aqueous solutions, actually the order is secondary, tertiary, primary and ammonia. Okay. But if it is alkyl group is methyl group, then secondary, primary, tertiary ammonia. If alkyl group is higher group, ethyl propyl like that, secondary, tertiary, primary and ammonia. According to hydrogen bond, ammonia is better. According to steric factor, ammonia is better. According to inductive effect, tertiary is better. All together when they are working, just now we were discussing. Aniline is weaker because of plus M effect of the nitrogen group present at the benzene ring. But electron releasing groups like OCS3, OH and methyl ethyl type of groups, the plus I groups, electron density can be increased in the benzene ring and the basic strength can be increased. Electron withdrawing groups, okay, like COH, NO2, CN, any electron withdrawing group if you take, that is at ortho and para positions, that will decrease the basic strength. This is the most interesting part, 
बेसिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अमाइंस बेसिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एनिलिप 